Greetings all. Danny here for Taurus's weekly message. That's interesting. Taurus, I'm particularly excited to get into today's messages because I have such a great energy. And what was interesting is the temperance in reverse was flipped over in the deck when I started shuffling. And that could have been left over from Aries or it could have been something that I needed to see for you, Taurus. But we're just going to take things as they come. My fellow Tyrians, I am a Taurus sun with several planetary placements in it as well. <laughs> yeah, I was fun growing up. You have gone through quite the upheaval. We have the Three of Swords, which everyone knows this card means a lot of pain. The Temperance that was in reverse, as well as the Ten of Diamonds in reverse. I really feel a betrayal, misharmony, and discourse in a home, private, or trusted space. I cer personally feel home space, but personal things on that. Yeah, King of Swords in, in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Someone who is meant to take care, provide, and love you has not done so in a way that you feel taken care of. The Three of Swords is a lot of betrayal, heartache. You feel wounded from this situation. You feel wounded from this engagement. And I am sorry, my love, but this is ending the situation, the, the entrapment. Yeah, Five of Diamonds and Lovers. Five of Diamonds in reverse. You're not looking away from this situation. You're walking away from this situation. Typically, the Five of Diamonds is someone outside of a church needing aid and not accepting help. In this instance, though, you are walking away from a situation because it was not leading you to stability. Because you did not feel this, this love, this passion, this connection. You weren't feeling protected and cared for as they should in that in that card. And so leaving your own, yeah, leaving to find your own kind of happiness. And I really believe that you will, my love. And also claim that for myself. My fellow Tyrians, the we hold on to a lot of hurt physically because we are so far in the element of Earth. Earth signs and the earth in the tarot is representative of the physical world. Physical means comforts, passions, and connections. So for us earth signs, it stings a little more, cuts a little deeper, and scars a little wider on us when we have a hurt of the heart. And that kind of betrayal, that upset in our, sta our stability and our sense of security it leads a lot to this spiraling if we do not reground ourselves, if we do not take that time to to, stead, to steadfast and weather the storm because we are gonna, we're gonna make it through. I promise you that. The wild unknown archetypes have given you some beautiful, beautiful cards. You have the nectar, and this makes me think the nectar of life, the nectar of the gods you being supported and sort of drip fed passion, inspiration and connection. When the moment strikes, everything that you need is there because you are so well taken care of. You have the gem. Knowing and working with gemstones myself, it is so, this is a reminder to me that pressure, heat, water, density, it, all of these things make a gemstone. All of this hurt this anguish, this betrayal that you have been through, it has not broken you and in fact made you stronger, more beautiful and more valuable in a sense of experience and what you know, what you will accept and what you will not accept. You have taken from this situation an innate sense of worth and value that you did not respect me when I was there. You did not care for me in that, in that place and now I will leave and find where I am cared for. It is a rebirth for you with the womb card coming out here and absolutely beautiful imagery. Also just coming out, especially the fact that we had lovers, a child might be very important to you in spirit. I claim that you know how much I want to be a mother one day. If a child is not something that you are wanting right now, please take care, take the proper precautions. 
pardon, excuse me, there's a lot of energy in my chest right now. It happens when I channel. Spirits plans is spirits plans. You may not feel like you want a child or you can take care of a child at this moment, but something and someone is coming in in a way that is monumentous and going to change your life. Please do not be hesitant to accept love because you feel like you cannot withhold your end of the bargain. Whatever that means, your love is not conditional. You do not have to be a certain standard. You do not have to be a certain way to accept that love, my fellow Turians. So please step into that that you need. Step into that that you deserve because you have always been worthy of love because you have always been a embodiment of love. Even as a child, when the people were trying to hurt you, when people overlooked you, you were still the embodiment of love laughter and kindness you were the reason smiles were brought to the room so please do not lose this fire now that you are moving into this time where you truly deserve and you truly are your greatest and highest please do not lose this connection please do not lose that spark because now you are meeting people who will meet you on your level who will stand with you who will guide you who will support you in the ways that you have always been asking for at this threshold at this brink and this turning point my love please understand this that you are stepping into your greatest and highest good claim and acclimate to this energy because it will be a change it will be a transformation for you because you will be experiencing a love you will be experiencing a life unlike anything that you have ever experienced before unlike anything you have ever thought before so don't hold on to the notions that you feel like you your life needs to go to because i promise you it's something so much wiser so much brighter and so much more in alignment with who you are truly meant to be in this realm and in the next Okay, I'm going to have to leave it there because someone stepped in right there. And that was very powerful. A lot is shifting right now, Taurus. And you're going to be alright. 